Shalom. I just want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Rukha Kudash, double honors to all apostles and elders of great millstone, and much love to all you Akim pushing this word in all sincerity and in truth. Um, but as I have again, <clears throat> I want to get right to it. This is Exodus 19 and 1. It says, in the, in the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. For, for they were departed from Rephidim and were come to the desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness and there Israel camped before the mount. And Moses went up unto the Most High and the Lord Yahweh called unto him out of the mount, mountain saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob and tell the land of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Okay, and um, this is just uh, <clears throat> another example, which there are quite a few examples in the scriptures that prove and show that the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh, um, deals with only the nation of Israel in a peculiar way, which the meaning of that word peculiar, and take it from me, this is at the line, it says, belonging exclusively to one person, from the Latin peculiaris, of one's own property, private property, Okay, so the Lord has Israel as his private property. Okay, and we're, we're, we're pretty happy, man, that we, you know, we were chosen of the Most High. And that's the spirit you're supposed to be in. But with that comes a lot of responsibility. Okay, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation, which means a separate nation. And separate nation of people from all other people that's on the face of the earth. Okay? These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. This is what the Mosai commanded Moses to go back and tell the nation of Israel. Okay? That your holy people are peculiar people. You know? Special unto the Lord. Okay? And here's another another um, example of that. It's Deuteronomy 7, chapter, the 6th verse. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And that's something that, you know, <clears throat> we we should cherish. You know, for the most part, our people, they, um, they shun that and they push that away and they want to keep, you know, trying to find a way to to denounce the fact that the Lord has chosen Israel to be his people, you know, and this is, this is more proof that, you know, we are the children of Israel because the Lord also told us that we're going to be a stubborn people, man, stiff necked, you know, disobedient to parents. And this is exactly what, you know, our people have, have shown. But the fact is and remains is that the Lord is only coming back for his people you know, Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem his people, which is the, the saints, the Israelites. Okay. And this is this is this is just a fact, okay? Acts 13 and 23 says, Of this man's seed had Yahweh the my power according to his promise raised unto Israel a savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so Yahweh Shai was raised by a man's seed, which that's his semen, which, you know, Mary and Joseph did have sex. You know, the main problem that a lot of people have is really um, plantation slavery. Salakia, plantation slavery, yeah, but what came with plantation slavery, plantation Christianity. So they, they put all these lies you know, out there. So now when you speak the truth, you know, it's like it's 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 a big shock. But for the men that the Lord has chosen, it's not. You know, we can see it and we can understand why they did what, what they did. 
okay? But Yahweh Shai was raised unto Israel as a savior, right? And this was promised, okay? He says, <clears throat> when John had first preached before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel, okay? And I'm, am I not reading that right? But this is what, this is, you know, um, what the Lord said, man. This is thus said the Lord. You know, this is not something that, you know, I just want to go into the Bible and make this the way, you know, I want it. And this is what Christianity does. This is what you Christians do. do. Y'all want things the way y'all want it to be. Y'all don't want to do it thus said the Lord. You know, Ka Amar um, Yahweh. You know, y'all y'all want to do it, you know, thus say it, my pastor, or thus say it, my own opinion. But the Lord said, you know, it's repentance to all the people of Israel. There's not, no, no one else mentioned there. Okay? And who else needs salvation, man? We're the ones that, are, that, that have been going through all this, you know, slavery and still at the bottom, still being oppressed by every other nation. Okay? And if you look and you be honest, it's the truth. Who owns all the businesses? If it, even if I remember all the way back to back uh, growing up in Trinidad, the islands in Trinidad, the grocery stores were owned by the Elamites, who are the Indians. And if they weren't owned by Elamites, they were owned by um, Moabites. You know, all the other big stores were owned by Amalek. You know, the, the malls and everything was, was Amalek or, or again, Elam or, or, or Moab for the most part. So this is, they, you know, the scripture tell you that, man. They, they all came together, confederate. Okay? This is Acts 5 and 30. It says, Yahweh, our father, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him had the Mosai exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Once again, Scriptures going into giving repentance unto Israel, okay? So where does all this, this confusion come from? It comes from plantation Christianity. It comes from our people wanting to still, you know, live it up, so to speak, here in America, wanting to, to, to push the lies of America and keep this whole, you know, Roman Catholicism um, going, which this whole universal love and this whole coming together, this, that's, that's the one world order under Satan. You know, and we're trying to establish a one world order under Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Okay? So in order for us to do that, we have to, to denounce all those lies. You know, we have to we have to completely denounce all the lies that have been pushed out here for for, for decades. Okay? And that's constantly what we're gonna do. Okay? This is Isaiah forty five and 17 it says but israel shall be saved in the lord with an everlasting salvation ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end okay and that world is talking about a time period meaning this is going to be a time israel is going to going to be a world without end it's going to be continuous the kingdom of heaven is going to be forever and ever okay of, of it's going to just be living in righteousness Thus said the Lord, thus said the Holy Scriptures. Okay? Why? Isaiah 45 and 18. For thus said the Lord that created the heavens, the Most High Himself that formed the earth and made it, He had established it. He created it not in vain, He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord Yahweh, and there is none else. Okay? And this is exactly why things go the way they go because the lord is the lord's will point blank period is the lord's will okay that's just how that's just how it is so this whole like i said all this confusion about well who is salvation for and if i mean this all that is is just is proof of you being a complete brainwashed goddamn you know reprobate in america because you should be just from the wickedness alone that we've experienced and which which hasn't been as much as our forefathers but just the, the tremendous amount of killing amongst our own people and you know just uh, they put it public display of them shooting us down constantly in the streets 
you know, first fired, last hired, you know, a woman that's completely against us, you know, for the real men who could understand that, you know, because some men think this is a good day for these women, you know, well, they actually got to say no and you shouldn't treat women like that. There's an order of things. There's a reason why a woman has a particular order and has a particular tax that she has to carry out and be in a certain way. Because if you don't, then this is what you have today. Okay? A bunch of freak, slut, loudmouth bitches. This is Acts 1 and 5. It says, For John truly baptized with water. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? See, even the apostles, the disciples, they always wanted to know, when are we going to restore the kingdom unto Israel? Because they were living amongst in perilous times, you know being under siege by the Romans, being, you know, completely oppressed, being, you know, every day you, 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 um, you're being, your, your life is on the line for preaching the, in the name of Yahweh Shai, you know, when you, through your faith and through your works, were, were shown certain things, you know, a lot of the apostles, they seen, you know, they, they saw Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation, you know, they, 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 they had spiritual powers, they knew certain things that other men didn't knew. You know, the Lord revealed his secrets unto his um, prophets. And they had to, to endure all of that. And they continuously asked him, Will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? You know, because everyone in the in the spirit, in the Rakah Kodash, in the, you know, the Holy Spirit, in the spirit of the Lord, wants that, man. And understand that the Lord is here to redeem, redeem his people. You know, from that, for the, from our enemies, which we have a lot. For some reason, y'all people are here, primarily our, 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 the two thirds of the nation of Israel, believe that we don't have enemies, believe that we can all just get along. Fuck out of here. All right. So just to to drive home the point, the Lord is coming back for for to save Israel. Repentance is on to Israel. The kingdom of heaven is for the Israelites. Okay? Our names are on the 12 gates. Okay? And that's the last book. So where are these people getting this, that, um, you know, repentance is for, for, for all these other nations? That's not even, <laughs> that's not even, like, that doesn't even make sense. You know, and y'all can't, y'all do not have any scriptural um, backing for that. Okay, so with that, I just want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Rakah Kudash, double honors to all apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom to all you Akiyam across the four corners. Shalom, continue pushing, brothers.